Welcome to Atlanta and Company. I'm Kara Kinnear. Happy Tuesday. I'm not Christine Pilar. She's enjoying a little time off with some family this week. So we're going to get you through the rest of the week as best we know how with a smile, a laugh. Maybe you'll learn something too. And someone who gives me smiles, laughs, and teaches me something each and every day on the morning rush is the one, the only Crash Clark, who's joining us for It's All Good this rest of this week. How's it going, Crash? Hey, good morning. Good, good to see you. And, and you know what? I just have to say this real quick because I know they, you know, I always talk about Disney World and it's my favorite place on earth and they just reopened down in Florida. You look like a Disney princess sitting there right now. Your beautiful scenery and your dress, you really look like you should be in Frozen 3. <laughs> Crash, that's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. This tired, tired mom of three appreciates that. Oh, <laughs> and I'm going to send it back to you now to get us started with some It's All Good Stories. I actually thought about that. I thought about you when I saw Disney World was opening. So yeah, it's I'm very gonna, exciting. I'm going to mm -hmm. stay back for a little bit and see how things go. But hopefully everyone's staying safe and enjoying themselves. Okay. Now, uh, usually when you hear Top Gun, you think, oh, Tom Cruise, you know, the Navy fighter pilot. Well, move over, Tom Cruise. I'm going to introduce you to Madeline Swiegel. Let's make that Lieutenant Madeline Swiegel. She is the first black female tactical fighter pilot. Now she earned her wings as a U.S. Navy fighter pilot and now she is getting her wings of gold and inspiration to just anyone in the country to just say, hey, you know what? I can do anything you can do and even better. We all know that women rule the world anyway, so why not have them as U.S. Navy fighter tactical pilot. I love that title. Mm. <laughs> so good. Yeah. So good. Who run the world, girls? Say it with me, Crash. Who run the world, girls? girls. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, uh, no. I don't doubt it. Congratulations to her. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, that's... I need a drink before I fly, so I will keep all the trying. The flying to her. All right. Next yeah, story, I, Chris. Yeah, the closest I think I ever came was I was in a biplane one time next to the pilot. And he goes, you want to take the stick? And I said, no, 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 no. You fly. I just going to enjoy the scenery. Okay, <laughs> here we go. This is another great. I mean, obviously, all <laughs> yeah. these stories are just fantastic right here. But this is a young man who overcame, I mean, a laundry list of early obstacles as he was growing up. His mom was forced to leave the country. His dad lost his job. He was struggling in school didn't quite fit in and things were just kind of rocky with his whole start. He wound up working as a sanitation worker. He was collecting garbage just to make ends meet. Look at this young man right here, Rehan Staten. And let me just tell you what he's doing right now. He has accepted and is going to be attending Harvard Law School. That's right. Talk about working your way up the ladder. Just got accepted. There he is with his brother, his acceptance letter. Uh, they actually had the video online where he was looking online and he clicked the enter button and it said, congratulations. And the whole family just absolutely lost it. What a great story for this young man. I crash. I have to tell you, my husband and I were watching that video, uh -huh. both crying because you could just feel the emotion of this young man and how hard he has worked. And I think as somebody who, you know, we've all been there, we open up a letter, you're opening up an email and you just want that good news. And we, you could just, you could feel it. It was palpable. So congratulations to him and um, yeah, happy trails ahead. Very, yeah, that, very cool. Yeah. In, in fact, his older brother actually had to drop out of high school so that he could kind of go back into school and do this. So it's just, it's such an incredible story all around. Okay, got a great video for you for this yeah. one right here. Now, this is, we talk so much about the frontline workers and everyone out there obviously battling the COVID-19. Well, this is a nurse in El Pino Hospital in Santiago, not San Diego, Santiago. Now, twice a week at 6 p.m., she returns to work at the critical care unit to play the violin. I don't, I'm, I'm gonna be quiet, we can hear it. Absolutely beautiful. She comes in and the patients, even though they're in the critical care unit, they can see her coming and they start their eyes get wide. They even clap for her when she's finished. She plays all her favorite little songs uh, from her hometown. And it's just the, the, the fact that she works there in the critical care unit and then comes back to work. What a true hero. Absolutely.
Wow. People are so giving of their time and their talents. And I think when we're all collectively going through something like a pandemic or whatever the case might be, you really see people shine. And she's such a good example of that. Music feeds your soul. And you feed my soul, my friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> I want to ask you quickly, put you on the spot a little bit. Okay. What is a song that you like to listen to to get you up and going in the morning? What is like your go-to we're going to do this. It's a Tuesday. Oh, my goodness gracious. I, I have such a wide range of music, really. I'll listen to a Star Wars soundtrack one minute and then uh, uh, you know, hardcore rock and roll. I mean, I'm, I'm an 80s guy. So, I mean, you give me anything hair band or metal and I'm I'm all over it. And, and then the next minute I'm playing Jimmy Buffett or something sweet and quiet. So anything lifts my soul. Just waking up in the morning and looking in the mirror going, you know what? God gave you another day. I think I'm good. That's right. That's right. Thank you also, Crash, for blessing our day with you. We appreciate my friend. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us. I can't wait to rock out with you soon in person. <laughs> all right. If you have a fun or interesting It's All Good story, please send it to us on our Facebook page. You can tweet us. You can email us. Just use that hashtag, It's All Good, and we will share it right here on Atlanta & Company. We love hearing good news here in our backyard, but especially all over the country.